there's too many differences between humans. Like we are, we are all going to go through things that mold us differently and we're never going to see perfectly eye to eye. And that's okay. That's fine. That creates the dynamic of life. It's black hoodie. I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right. Hey, yo, what's good with y'all back with another one today. Uh, we're trying a chain called Gino's. I don't know if it's strictly Canadian or if it is in America at all. I really have no idea, but it is one of my favorites. That said, though, in the recent years, I do feel like it has kind of gone a little downhill. It usually doesn't come too fresh and hot, which is the case right now. It's kind of issing me off with a P. Um, but I mean, hey, you got to give places that you love some chances, some second chances, some third chances to see if they can redeem themselves. Now they haven't, but it is what it is. Now they do know that I am a dipping sauce. Whore. Yes. Whore. So I got six creamy garlics, which is fine. And uh, for dip access accessibility, we're going to put it in this. So let me do that. And then we start eating. All right, so we have the jiggly, fatty, creamy garlic, which is the best in this dish for easy dip accessibility. Do you guys ever just get offended as f that they think that you're able to dip the largeness of these Zaza's in that little container? No, like we need a wide mouth mason. Do you know what I mean? Okay, anyhow, before we do anything more, we must pour. Switching it up today, we got the nest tea iced tea and uh it is diet of course and it's gonna go down smooth because iced tea is not a carbonated fellow and maybe that's what we need to switch to because that actually made my life so much easier see how fast that fucking pour was okay well we're full right up to the brim so we must do the cringy shit that we do on the internet <laughs> This is gonna live on with me forever until I'm 74. If I make it there. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the, the light of the Lord that I make it there. Today's a little bit of a different video. I'm coming through on my attitude shit. I got some shit to talk about, but we will just enjoy some Zaza. So let's get to that right quick first. So looking at me immediately, initially, is the more fancy schmancy side of the za and that is this one and that right there is kind of a hawaiian is what i made um it's i got extra cheese and then i got pineapple bacon pepperoni and hot peppers uh, i added the hot peppers because i think the vinegary hot cut through the sweetness is going to be banger and i usually don't get anything too crazy on za because i think za is best simple cheese and pepperoni but today i felt like at least half of it had to be just a little wild It's a wow. It's a wow factor moment. Really, really stupid good. The creamy garlic dip is on another level. Gino's is legitimately really good pizza.
for a while it actually took top spot in my world as a favorite and it used to execute because there was a time where it came hot and unfortunately I don't know if it's like new ownership or whatever. Something changed in the last few years. Although I've said it before on my channel. I honestly think it's something that's plaguing the industry is that. It's hard to get a hot delivery pie these days. It's just, it's tough. It rarely shows up. With the ability to have Cheese pull. It's very rare. Which is wild because in this in this newer day and age you would think that there would be some sort of hot bag technology that would make it so you would definitely get a hot pie. But uh I wanna say back in the day it was you know you would think that it wouldn't be that way, but that way. But back in the day, it was it was more effective. Like I remember getting consistently much hotter pies, BBQ sauce. You know, much more consistently just back in a time where like technically it shouldn't have been that consistent but it was maybe the facts are um, back then people used to cook more at home and you know there wasn't such a demand on the delivery service and now we live in a fast high paced society where maybe there's a huge demand on delivery and it's harder to get orders where they need to be quickly that's likely the the cause Now, while this is delicious and amazing, and I'm sure you guys want me to keep the mood real light and everything because it's food and it's fun and it's delicious and we're supposed to have a great time doing it. I told you in the beginning of this video that I was pulling up to talk my shit today. And that's exactly what I'm about to do because sometimes I just see some shit relative to the world and how the world's the way the world's going and this, that, and the other that really grinds my gears. And 
and I want to have my opinion on it. And I'm sure through having my opinion on it, from my perspective, I'm going to attract a bunch of the people that I'm, I'm about to talk my shit on and they're going to come in the comments and have their little say because seemingly they are the people of the world right now who have the dominance in terms of say in society and it's annoying very annoying and I'm just at a breaking point as a type of person that I am where I have to speak on it so I just recently watched some shit on YouTube I saw some shit on YouTube regarding basically there's like news articles and all this crap about it uh, Shia LaBeouf did a vid, uh, movie called Peanut Butter Falcon with this dude who has Down Syndrome. He acted in it. Now, I'm a little bit butthurt probably because Shia LaBeouf is easily... Like, I have a man crush on him. On him, like... He's been my favorite actor. He's one of my favorite people ever to exist. And very rarely do I, like, fanboy out for anybody or... Like, I don't look up to people like that, really. But Shia is, like, a G. I just love the guy. I don't know why. I can't explain it. It's just, I love the guy. Now... Shia is, like... He's got his head on... Like, he's so, like, aware and, like... He's clearly an intelligent individual. He's been through his trials and tribulations... And he's out here just trying to make, like, good indie flicks. And he did a whole video with this guy in Peanut Butter Falcon who has Down Syndrome. And I've watched interviews with him speaking about this person and them in interviews together. And I can see the friendship. I can see the, the camaraderie. I can see that. Like, Shy would never be a, a piece of shit. Like, he would never be how people are painting him now in this moment. But And it's just, it's a reflection of, of society and where shit's going. And it's so frustrating. But the reason I want to speak on it is because I resonate with this, like, just this supreme idiocy of these oversensitive fucking crybaby people in the world it's it's just so stressful basically what happened is if you watch the oscars shia and this guy with down syndrome they were to present the award for whatever category I don't know. I can't remember. Irrelevant. So they're up on stage, and Shy is pretty much, you know, leading the the presentation. Like he's doing most of the talking, but you could tell they've probably rehearsed it a bunch of times before. And um, <clears throat> the dude with Down syndrome, he's he's being given you know, a few opportunities to, to partake, right? Where he can. And they open, they go to open the letter or whatever to, to announce who the Oscar goes to. And basically the guy with the Down syndrome is having a little bit of an issue, just trying to get, trying to get it open. And it's like a it's like a pause it's a momentary pause in silence and Shia basically just kind of cracks like a little bit of a like a smile like a like a half laugh gesture of like oh this is kind of 
it's just like an awkward moment of energy like and he just kind of cracks a smile the dude with down syndrome he eventually just he gets he gets it out he it's all good but um so now Shia LaBeouf is being attacked for having this moment of just like a genuine smile of a situation where this person with down syndrome who he clearly he's worked on an entire movie with the guy he's done interviews it's very obviously like especially if if you're friend like if you're a fan of somebody like that and you've watched interviews with them with the person that they acted with you would know but you don't know because you didn't you you aren't a fan of Shia you you didn't you had no idea you just took this one little second and then you made him out to be this villain I don't, I don't know how to explain it it's just like I don't I don't know if your life is that boring or you just have nothing going on or you know you you think that the world is supposed to be this like candy and rainbows utopian la la land where like everything is so beautiful and perfect and and people are just pissed off and just like just offended by anything and everything and it's like no dude like okay picture you picture you standing on a stage in front of a room full of like elite people both business and creatives and whatnot you know the uh special people of planet earth the top tier the the one percenters the highly regarded picture you standing in front of them in an award ceremony and like your homeboy and your friend is like slow and in that moment in a room full that's being broadcast to the world across tv there's like this difficulty happening it's just a bit of an awkward moment like as a human being are you telling me that you might not just like crack a smile or like I almost feel like his him cracking his smile or his, his like little underhanded laugh was like almost indicating to the crowd like like no it like he'll get it. it it's like it's like he'll get it it'll be okay like it's almost like he was like non-verbally indicating to the crowd like to almost to break that like tension of, of the silence of the moment of of, of this person who has a disability kind of they're you know they're they're struggling and shy uh, being a full capacity is kind of like cracking a smile to be like like he'll get there he'll get there like don't worry about it guys like he'll get there you know what i mean like almost easing that that tension but of course in this fucking world that we live in nowadays and this is what i'm talking about because it resonates with me <clears throat> is like even with me on on this channel when when and that's why like i've said to you guys like i don't feel that comfortable sharing stories or having opinions or speaking on things that I like I used to because we just live in this world now that is like because because everybody because of the internet because everybody has access because everybody is able to have an opinion and because of like cancel culture and, and, and the weakness and the softness of people. Like, life isn't fucking rainbows and butterflies, like, all the time. Like, life is, is, is full of dynamic. It's, it's yin and yang. There's, there's, there's duality. There's, there's interpersonal relationships. There's, Like, it's never going to be utopia, oasis, perfect, good for everybody. Like, I fully understand moving to a, 
a better state of being and acceptance and stuff and not like being judgmental and being an asshole and shit but like life humans the range of emotions that we feel and shit it's all it's too complex we are too complex of a species life is clearly too complex there 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 are it, 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 life is multifaceted and life wouldn't be would be bullshit if we all just existed in fucking pleasantville in candyland in fucking rainbows and butterflies and it's all so perfect and amazing like there are universal laws and it's very clear that you know we are not supposed to have this static way of being of just like happy go lucky we are it's just everything's the best all the time like it's not supposed to be that way but we're living in this age where fucking people are so triggered and sensitive in today's world with cell phones and the internet and you know everybody's got a camera everybody's got thumbs and text and all this shit twitter and whatnot we live in a time where back in the day nobody could weigh in like it was it was like your little your little tiny social network and then it was like it was it was more private it was familial or society or, or like not even societal uh that's too big but you know familial or, or city based or group based or whatever nowadays like the internet connects the entire world so it's like everybody with their little broken hearts can have an opinion on some shit because everybody has the ability to have an opinion now you know what i mean and these like these like idealistic viewpoints of these people who think life is supposed to be fucking tootsie rolls and shit and everything's supposed to be fair and perfect and they start weighing in and they start ganging up and then people who are in the real world are like a lot of times we like retreat and are like whoa 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 like when they come under fire and they come under attack it's like it's overwhelming to deal with because usually you're either one person or you're like maybe 10 people but now it's like there's an army coming at you for something that really isn't even that big of a deal like or even not even offensive in the first place it's like these people just have a diluted a diluted viewpoint or idea of like the ideal of of the world and how it's supposed to be so they're just like super easily offended and then they, they get in their 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 army their band and they just come and they attack back about like well this is why you suck and this is why you're a piece of shit and you know you're just uh you know you're a hater or like you're, you're or or you're you know egotistical asshole whatever the fuck it is like that they're calling you you're a racist or you're sexist or this that and the other but it's like they're like the these 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 people who who have this ideal version of the world in their mind but then they they attack in an army and they say like vulgar shit so it's kind of hypocritical in a sense but yeah it's just insane to me that like if you do like anything in the slightest wrong it's like you're just hanged on a fucking cross you're just you're just put under the craziest scrutiny like you're cancelled you're judged you're called out for being this that and the other it's like 
it's insane, man. And it's just like coming back to the Shia thing. It's just like this dude clearly has mad love for this guy. He's just up on a stage and it got a little awkward for a moment and he kind of had a like a light chuckle about it and then next thing you know there's people like just you know like trying to like slay him socially being like attacking him being like oh he he's an asshole he's a piece of shit he was making fun of him really <laughs> really like really <laughs> that's that you're outraged about that now that's why i feel like I almost hate taking a stance or having an opinion or, you know, talking some shit or whatever, or even telling like a really personal story where maybe I wasn't ideal as a human being and nowadays on my channel. Like, I don't know if when I go to tell those things, I just, I just know that there's, there's people waiting in the wings that are going to come out of the woodwork and then have this like self-righteous fucking opinion about how I'm such a bad person. It's like, Okay, but what if I was able to be a fucking fly on the wall in your life? Like, what would I see? Like, it's easy to operate from a self-righteousness when you're just commenting and there's no one there to observe you. But if I looked at your life, I'm pretty sure there'd be times where you uttered some shitty shit out of your mouth or you didn't treat somebody to the utmost pers like way or uh, you weren't the best to your girlfriend, boyfriend, husband whoever, or your sibling or when you were in elementary school you didn't treat somebody with a disability as well as you could have like but yet here you are on the internet watching people and just fucking like spewing your judgment out of self-righteousness and it's just like this is the world we live in like there's, there's people spewing the self-righteous fucking judgment and they're not t they're 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 coming from a place of anonymity keyboard warrior and it's like if anybody had a view into your life you would be just as fucking guilty like so stop trying to like propagate this idea that like life is supposed to be like bubble wrapped and and everybody gets a trophy and it's like all perfect and we should all be so amazing to each other like i understand working towards a a better you know society and and being kind to one another and stuff and making it as easy as possible but facts are there's too many differences between humans like we are we are all going to go through things that mold us differently and we're never going to see perfectly eye to eye and that's okay that's fine that creates the dynamic of life like that's what makes life life is like is the differences between us and that like you know i i don't i don't know how else to explain it it's just like we're never all going to be the same person it's just never going to happen <laughs> you know what i mean but i am all for trying to make things you know be as kind and smooth as they can be but the facts are there's always going to be dynamics like life is full of dynamics so anyways i came i talked my shit i had to talk my shit today and uh hope you enjoyed that one till the next one you know what to do eat good live well stay true